All right, so we got White Line's big rear bar. I think it's an 18 millimeter solid bar. Three adjustments on the back of the FRS. And it's, it's mounted with the factory bushings. We haven't shimmed this yet. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to rotate this with pinky effort. And it's just a little too firm. So I'm going to ask Aaron to put one shim, maybe a one washer, under this bushing shell. And that way we're not adding any spring weight. This is much better than we normally see. Normally it's like I can do pull-ups on this and it's stuck. And you want the whole bar to twist the first sway bar to you know give a small amount of effective spring rate to prevent roll when they lock up in these mounts and then again this one isn't as bad as most we've seen but when they do it's just twisting just this part here it's really stiff and adds a lot of spring rate so we'll shim this we'll drill a hole here for a greaser and all the way through the bushing so we can grease on the inner surface of uh, the sway bar where it hits the bushing and then we'll have that perfect you know, pinky effort. It's just about triple of what it should be. It's still too much work um, to, so we'll, we'll free that up and free up the suspension to do the work we want to do. Okay, we've got the FRS with the 18 millimeter wide line rear bars installed now, and Aaron has, has shimmed both the upper and lower bracket uh, and installed the lower brace, and I'll show that in a second. Added the greaser, and with the proper grease, I can rotate these pinky effort which is what we want. It's not loose in the mounts at all. Um, but now it's, it's working like it's supposed to be. This white line sway bar is significantly stiffer than the stock little bar, which is teeny tiny. Um, and this bracket that it mounts to can get some flex under load. So they've added this brace, which bolts to the uh, rear subframe and to the sway bar bracket out here. So keep that in mind when you add your greaser. Don't add it down here, add it from the middle up. Uh, to make it easier to get to. And there might be a little bit of slotting on one of these holes, that's normal. It's really hard to make this to fit the factory tolerances. Uh, but that's in there now, and he's gonna install the end links and get the rear suspension back together. This is the finished installation of the rear white line sway bar, and it came out really nicely. We've got the grease circ there. Uh, it rotates with pinky effort up and down with the end link off, and the, uh, it's got the sway bar brace as well. Pretty slick. Okay, we're back on the front sway bar on the FRS. Again, not picking on white line, all the brands do this, and this is actually better than most, but it does take a good bit of effort to rotate this in the mounts. So uh, the bushings are tight, they always are, every single sway bar we ever put on. Uh, so we'll shim these, and then we'll drill and tap uh, through the shell, through the bushing into the bar for a uh, greaser. All right, now the greaser has been added here to the shell and it's been shimmed. You can see the washer underneath that bracket and, and there's one there as well. And I can, I can move it with my pinky. Uh, it's, it's a lot freer than, than before and uh, that's what you want. You want to be able to, to move this with pinky effort so you're not adding any bind in the bushings. That's perfect.